Which is pretty good for the gank. Lifestealer is going to uh, obviously lifesteal Dazzle and Dazzle goes down. Vengeful Spirit, the ultimate ganker going into this game. So it looks like uh, Vengeful Spirit, man, being the, the, the VIP of this game so far for the fans. Uh, the Dyer are making some great strides this early game. Already sitting on two points to the zero here uh, from uh, from Team Fanatic. Now, uh, let's take a look at it, man. I mean, we got Slardor now getting trapped, and oh no, we've got Queen of Pain coming up. It looks like a little bit of a ganking option here as Bethel Spear comes around the background, and Queen of Pain blinks in, throws down the scream, takes down um, Slardor, and it looks like we will see Tidehunter now running away. He misses the trees. A very nice escape, but you know what, man? Still 3-0. 3-0, and it's 3-0 to the fans. That means Steve Fnatic is in a bit of a pickle, getting ganked too much, and the bad thing is, Queen of Pain is starting to get fit, guys, so that means she's going to start to get more and more powerful. We already saw her performing and executing a nice gank. She has a bottle, that bottle allows her to store runes, and she's going to get a nice amount of health regen out of that, so right now, yeah, she just got a regen right there, so I think Queen of Pain right now, She's really setting herself nicely up for the mid game and she's very durable with those items that she has and with those extra kills she's going to be extra powerful and we're seeing the, uh, the ward here is expired, another ward will probably go down so that's probably what the team was pointing at and uh, will uh, Team Fnatic be able to recover from this? I, we haven't seen them being free down as of yet and oh Dazzle's in trouble, he's going to get ganked by Lifestealer and Vengeful Spirit uh -oh. is Dazzle going to escape? Oh no! No so way. And it looks that like he's gonna perfect. go and throw on his heel. He gets out of there. He goes to the turret, but it's not gonna help him at all. The turret only does minimal damage here. And it looks like Lifestealer gets yet another kill. Let's take a look up here at the ping. Uh, Ventral Spirit, I mean, uh, sorry, uh, Nature's Prophet pulls back as there are two forces up here against him from the Fnatic team. Now, um, taking a look at it, man, I mean, I I don't know. I. I I'm a little, uh, I'm a little concerned for Fnatic at this point. I mean, we've seen them do, we saw, right. saw them do pretty well in that last game. Um, they kept ahead the whole game. This seems to have turned around, not in their favor. Yeah, like every engagement they have is is looking really good, but for some reason, they start losing people. Like it's that ganking, man. The ganking yeah, is that actually ganking. paying off very just, well. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just Vengeful Spirit did already two of those kills, uh, one at mid and at bottom, and I think that just changed the game so hard. Like Vengeful Spirit is getting fed a little bit. Uh, she's really been very good on creep kills, and uh, three bottom, one dazzle. Dyer's so top bottom, it's not attack. looking that good at this point. Dazzle's got to watch out, man. He can't be going up there all balls to the wall like that. I know he's just trying to get XP. But, you know, it's a very scary thing when you're running up there against uh, someone like Vengeful Spirit who has been ganking everyone. Um, now, look at this. I mean, we saw a little bit of creep trickery here uh, from, uh, you know, from Nature's Prophet here on the, uh, on the uh, top lane. He did pull the creeps into the jungle to try to go ahead and make that work. But here comes Queen of Pain. She is going to get spotted right now from, the tur or from that Plague Ward. And here she comes from the back. She throws down the scream, and it looks like we do see another death here. Wow. And it's 5-0 right now. The fans are dominating. Will we see? Yes, another one. Queen of Pain is on fire. No one can stop her. She's continuing to roll around here. She's going right after tight under. Here comes, uh, oh, man, here comes uh, Nature wow. Prophet. And she's not going to die. Queen of Queen Pain. Of pain. Queen of Pain is 5-0 right now. Queen of Pain is fed as hell. Amazing ganks by her. Hey, and I don't think there was a mid oh, no. I'm not sure. Dazzle. But uh, now Dazzle dead. might get ganked. Dazzle. Dazzle's dead. Dazzle, he's throwing down his, his shield. It doesn't block enough damage. He gets taken out. And right now, 8-0 to the fans. Team Fnatic is getting rolled over by the fans. And with the fed Queen of Pain, I think this might be... This might be looking very grim for Team Fnatic and going to the mid game. It's still early to say, but a, a 5 0 Queen of Pain, guys, that's something that you really have to be careful with. Ronai bottom just ran in, got a little podge ups, now invisible at this point, just used. Uh, use the invisibility, but for some reason, Vengeful Spirit and everything is being really close to her. Gonna have Marana gonna be attacking Lich maybe. She really can because Life Stealer is close. She's gonna do some shots. Are they gonna react? Not really. Still looking good. But every gang of the fans was successful uh, versus well, the unit Santa and the players of uh, Team Fanatic.
Just a very nice play. And it looks like we do see uh, Fnatic here still stacking the two here on the bottom against the one. Now, Nature Prophet already level eight. Look at Slardar. He's on level four. And, and oh man, wow. even worse, Venomancer's only <laughs> level three. Here comes Queen uh -oh. of Pain, level eight. Gonna go right against Venomancer. Venomancer almost has no chance here against this. And it looks like he will barely get out of there only with help from his ally, Slardar. Wow, Nubis, the guy that's playing Queen of Pain is really doing a nice job with ganking. Yeah, he didn't get a gank this time, but, uh, uh, you know, good try. We're seeing Bottom finally getting pushed thanks to Tidehunter. Tidehunter helping Dazzle and Lifestealer, and of course Lich are being pushed back. And, uh, wow, the mid tower for the Dire, that is, um, of course, the fans, does go down. So, in terms of towers, Team Fnatic is leading, but uh, kills, they don't have any kills right now, no kills, zero kills for Team right. Fnatic, eight kills for the fans, and the fans are really doing a fantastic job with gank. It's looking like a game I played last night on the random ladder, man, as we do see this going down. Uh, we see Slardar getting taken out with a nice little transition from Ventral Spirit, using the special to switch spots to pull him right into Nature's Profit, getting the kill. Taking the win, and you know what? The thing is, is the reason why they lost the middle tower there, addicted, is because there's simply no defense there. They're going around ganking, um, allowing for open doors, open areas to be uh, taken down, and that's exactly what just happened. Now, uh, let's take a look at it here. Queen of Pain. We got Lich. We've also got Lifestealer down here at the bottom, and they're going right at it. The top tower is gone down. It looks like we do see one tower for one right now. Lifestealer going right in against Edman Tidehunter, and it looks like Tidehunter is going to get taken out, man. Queen of Pain. Oh, is unstoppable. Will we see another? Yes, Dazzle dies once again. Send him back to the Reclamation Man because he needs to be put back on the shelf. Wow, Queen of Pain is 6-0. He's she's really getting fed like crazy. Every gank successful. Uh, we're having Moran. They're gonna start attacking Queen of Pain, but still, oh, Life Stealer is there, so they can't really do anything about that. So every attack is being Radiant's successful for the fans. Under attack. I'm really loving the item build for Queen of Pain. She's not really. Because she's so fit, you know, she has a lot of money, but she hasn't rushed for any big items as of yet. She's just taking her no talismans to get those extra Dyer's statistics stacked up first attack. to make her, you know, more durable in the mid game. And she's doing a fantastic job at it. She might be going for a gank on Mirana. Mirana shouldn't try for her, with a fit character like this. She's just going to back off. And looking at it, a lot of roaming going on by Lich and Ventral Spirit. They actually might be going mid or might be going for a tight cutter at both. We have to go and, and, and wait and see. But right now, both uh, teams are getting a nice vision from those wars, and it looks like both uh, Virtual Spirit and Lich will just be roaming to mid. Maybe one gets some minion kills over here in the jungle. And, uh, uh oh, Mirana's on the roam. What, what's she? I think she might be planting a ward. Actually, she doesn't have any ward, so that's not an option. Well, but looking at it, a lot of roaming going on into the mid game. Now, Mirana did double so, or did bottle some double damage runes, so. She can use that double damage rune as she feels like she needs to to try to take down uh, one of these uh, one of these foes here. But look at this man, huge forest creeps. I mean, this is what you do in this in this part of the game when you're winning, when you're absolutely just smashing, uh, continuing to rock and roll. I mean, work down the uh, work down the, the the jungle, take down more of those jungle creeps. Uh, farm. If you can farm, then you can get better items, and you can uh, you know do even more devastation. Now, it looks like. Uh, we do see one, uh, it, I mean, it's 2 to 11. Um, Fnatic needs to make something happen, or else they're going to be sorely disappointed in this game. Yeah, man, totally, and we might see an engagement by the forest. It depends if Slather is going to stick in this jungle for a, a bit longer. If he does, then he's going to die, because there's so many people there. Oh, no. Someone else gets caught, oh. it's, and it's Venom Master. Queen of Pain is there, Queen of Pain is there, and she brings the pain, Exclusive. gets another kill. And it's getting completely out of hand. Here comes Mirana. Situation right now. Oh, Mirana. Mirana. And Tidehunter going right up into it. And it looks like the double damage rune was popped. And it looks like they will take down one of the... Lich goes down. Now it's Ventral Spirit running for a life here from Tidehunter. Tidehunter's moving forward. He gets forested. And it looks like we do see... Um, Dazzle pulling back now. He's got to get the hell out of there. Life Stealers right after him. Queen of Pain right on his ass as well. They're going to keep on going. And it looks like I. Oh no! He gets taken out. Fnatic losing four units in that little engagement, man. Not the not a good trade off at all. This is uh, this is looking absolutely rash right now uh, for uh, Team Fnatic. The fans are absolutely devastating. 
the power of the fans. That was an amazing play. And did you see what Vengeful Spirit did? She was getting chased by Tidehunter, so she just switched positions with Nature's Prophet, who was farther right. away. So she, 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 so she managed to escape without dying. Very smart play by Vengeful Spirit. Look, at Life Stealer is going to farm some more at, both, at, um, at uh, the jungle. Looking at both, we see Mirana's there, she's gonna get some farm, attack. and Vengeful Spirit once again thinking about ganking, Ooh. and she might even get it, depends, oh she gets chased away by Tide Hunter who appears in the right place, and Vengeful Spirit might go and get oh. the gank, oh it's gonna be a team fight, everyone are going to that position right now, Tide Hunter taking all the damage, so is Vengeful Spirit, Vengeful Spirit is definitely gonna go down, Miran, that's what actually takes the kill, I thought Mirana's gonna go down for sure, but now a nice trap, going down by Nature's Prophet, who's uh, continuing to stay alive, but he is facing two people, so that's very hard to do. Here comes Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain lands a heavy amount of damage. Mirana is still uh, alive, barely survives. Oh my god. This Prophet goes down. Uh, and, and wow. And they all fall, just like the Kingsman, with a monster kill from Queen of Pain. <laughs> That uh, was really looking good for the, for the fans, but just when Queen of Pain came in, just the whole battle changed. He just killed so many units, so many damage output, and see what happens. She's on, gotta check, 8-0. And Life's player 7-0. Dude, that thing, if, if, if this wasn't against Team Fnatic, I would have said, nah, this game's over. But Radiance Team Fnatic are a very experienced team attack. for Dota 2, so I'm hoping that they can make this recovery. But it's 5 to 20 kills. This is as one-sided as it can ever be. The fans, are they really fans? Because I think those, you know, those players, they deserve to be in a team of their own because they're playing extraordinary. Right now, Queen of Pain nearly gets focused down, but she has the blink and she uses it to escape. That's right, she does, and it looks like we do see uh, the bottom posturing up for a little bit of an attack, but very nice. Uh, summoning some tree minions here to go in right after uh, right after Marana, and it looks like uh, we will see Lich go forward, and he's going to pull back, waiting for his team to fully show up. There are four of the fans, four of the Dire here hanging out um, while we see this. Now, uh, Tidehunter in the background, uh, we do see that Sal uh, Salar or Slardar is hanging out in the background as well. Now, uh, the posturing is, is complete. We've got the rest of the team here um, besides, uh, besides Venomancer. And it looks like they will go ahead and push this tower. And you know, I mean, the dire at this point, they just—I mean, they, they're just farming minions here in the jungle, being all nonchalant about it. They're waiting for the aggressment to go onto the tower. Then they'll make that uh, big, big push. And you know, I gotta say, for a team that has a lot of squishies, they're doing a—they're doing dire a damn good job. Are fortified. They definitely are. And looking at it. Bot lane is getting pushed pretty hard by the fans. All four members are there. That means that mid is actually quite nicely and freely available for Miran to push. And she's exactly doing that right now, which means this mid tower over here, the second one, is going to get pushed. It's already taken some damage. It's only has 900 life points left, so it probably will take a lot of damage. Bot is really starting to get pushed right now. Even Queen of Pain, Queen of Pain has gone there as well. And that tower is protected by three people, but uh, they're all retreating. Slider going tower back, Tidehunter going back, and Dazzle as well. Radiant they just abandoned the tower. They think they can't handle all those champions, and that's with good reason because two of them are fit. Life Stealer and Queen of Pain can really take you down pretty damn quickly with so many kills. That they can. Now here comes uh, Mirana still working on that top tower. Here comes um, Nature's Prophet. He's going to be moving in a TP here uh, from Vengeful Spirit, and Mirana's got to get the hell out of Dodge, man. She she cannot hang out there too long, and look at that transformation as she gets pulled back in there. Uh, we will see Vengeful Spirit now getting targeted down here from Dazzle. The uh, force does go down, and it looks like Marana will take that kill. Moving in on this, we do see that uh, Vengeful Spirit now getting worked down here from Dazzle. Dazzle continues to do some nice damage, but will it be enough? In the end, I don't think it will, man. Dazzle's got to get out of there. He can get the kill, but dude, he is going to die. <laughs> oh, Lich is oh, having... Yeah, Lich is gonna go after Dazzle. Dazzle healing himself, oh trying God. to just get in this fight, but Queen of Pain comes in and takes the that kill. Oh, very nice. Just Queen of Pain did so much damage. Now, Venomaster has to get out of there, just putting down some Plague Wards, but... Wow, really? Queen of Pain is just the best ganker I have Radiance ever seen. <laughs> well, her description says nine. she's a ganker, and I think... Uh, Anubis, the guy that's, that's playing her... Is doing a damn fine job at it. She was godlike. I mean, how many kills she got now? 